Hey, I'm Noel Powell with CreationEffects.com, and as part of my effort to get more free products on the site, I'm releasing this cool little After Effects preset, which lets you quickly put your layers into a grid formation that you can customize. I call it Gridscape, and it can be handy if you need a 2D or 3D grid of evenly spaced objects, or if you need it to uh, spread out a bunch of layers randomly on any axis. Like I said, it's a preset, so you can install it and then access it anytime inside of After Effects. So I'm going to show you how to install it and quickly show you how to use it. And at the end, I'll, I'll give you some tips that I think might be helpful. And I should mention that I created this custom grid effect for a template I just finished called Shapeshift. Shapeshift will let you make these mind-bending 3D transformations in your footage in After Effects. It's a, an inexpensive effect that creates a really cool, uh, really unique transition effect for your videos. And you can use the finished presets or create totally new custom designs. It's pretty trippy stuff and I'll, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check out the, uh, the demo video for that. But let's get started with Gridscape. And, uh, and by the way, a big thank you to ChatGPT for coming up with that catchy name for me. Uh, AI may soon make my business obsolete, but until then, I'm going to milk it for all it's worth. Okay, so if you go to the link in the description, you can add Gridscape to your cart. It doesn't cost anything. And uh, then you'll download this zip file. And in the zip file, you'll see two .ffx files. To install, all you need to do is put them in the right folder. So if you're running Windows, I'll put up the location on your hard drive uh, where you should put these files. I'm on a Mac, so I'll just show you where they go on a Mac. So in Finder, uh, you'll go to Applications, and then whichever version of After Effects you want it in, and then Presets. And if you haven't already, I recommend you create a new folder, name it Creation Effects, and then you can have a place to keep all your the free presets that you get from Creation Effects. So I'll drag these in there and then I'll open After Effects. Now, I should clarify that this preset is for when you need all the elements in the grid to be separate layers. So it's good for uh, solid layers which have effects on them, or pre-comp layers, or footage. Any layer will work, uh, but if all you need is a grid of simple shapes, like circles or squares, you might be better off just doing that with a shape layer, uh, because then you could you could do it all on one layer and it would be really fast to work with. So what you would do is you just add a new shape layer and add a shape and then you add a couple of repeaters and you increase the copies to turn it into a, a 2D grid. And then to make this a 3D grid, you just duplicate the layer several times and just push each one back a little further in Z space. And then you've got a 3D grid and uh, you can add a light layer uh, to give it some depth um, I just thought I'd make that option known in case uh, you didn't know about that. But if you have a bunch of layers and you need those in a grid formation, then keep watching. So I'm, I'm just going to create a, a new solid to use as my example. Uh, I won't make it bigger than it needs to be to keep it fast, just like 50 by 50. So I'll make a grid full of these things. And I also need a control layer. Uh, to put the, the customization controls on. So I recommend a null object. I'll add my controls to the null layer first, uh, and the presets are found in the Effects and Presets panel, so go to Window and Effects and Presets. And you can do a, a search for Gridscape here, or I'll just go in here, and here's my Creation Effects folder. And you can see our two Gridscape presets here. One says Control Layer and one says Grid Layers. So with my Control Layer selected, that's, that's my null object, I'll double click this uh, Control Layer preset. And then in my Effect Controls panel, we can see uh, these expression controllers, which you can ignore. Uh, but then we've got our customization controls up here, all separated into categories. And at the end, there are some instructions. So let's read those real quick. Apply the preset Gridscape Control Layer to a new null object. We did that. And rename the layer Grid Control Layer. So I'll rename this layer to Grid Control Layer. And then it says, enable the 3D switch for your grid layers and then apply the preset Gridscape Grid Layer. 
All right, so we need to enable 3D for this layer first, or the effect won't work right. And then I'll apply the preset that's named grid layer to that layer. And then it says, rename them to have the words grid layer somewhere in their name. To save time, you can apply these steps to a single grid layer and then duplicate the layer as needed. So that, that's what I'm going to do. I've got my single layer here and I'll rename it to have the words grid layer. I'll just put it at the end like this. And now I can duplicate this layer as many times as I need. Um, if, if you already have a bunch of layers and they're all different, so you can't delete them and just start with a single layer, then you'll just have to select all the layers and apply the preset and you'll have to uh, copy and paste the words grid layer at the end of each layer's name which uh, could take a while, but it, it needs those words because the effect has to know how many layers are in your grid. And that's how it can count them, by looking at all the layers that have those words, uh, grid layer, in the name. All right, so if I start duplicating them now, that's Command-D or Control-D, it doesn't do anything. But if I go up here to my controls, I can spread them out like this. And you can see here, I can set how many I want in each column and each row. So it's four by four now. So that's a, a total of 16. And let me add a little Z spacing to this. Now watch what happens when I duplicate this to make more than 16. It adds another layer to our grid. And if you want to add a bunch more, uh, you can just select all of them and copy and paste them and they automatically go to the top in your layer order and they stay in order and everything. And notice how the whole thing always stays centered in your scene. All right, let's have a look at the controls. Uh, I won't talk about these much because you'll see what they, they do if you play with them. But real quick, these global controls affect all the layers together. So you can move the entire grid or scale up or rotate all of the layers. The incremental controls will let you make some interesting patterns in your grid. Uh, it basically adds more and more position, scale, or rotation to each layer the further that layer is from the center of the scene. And you can choose which axis you uh, that distance should be measured on and whether you want the grid to be symmetrical or not. And last, the randomized controls let you add randomness to the grid. And if you want new random results, you just change the random seed here. Uh, what else? Uh, you, you could add light layers to this. Uh, that'll probably make it look better. And a camera layer if you want uh, to animate your camera and make uh, 3D movements around the grid. And that's pretty much it. It's, it's easy to use. Um, I did want to share how I made a few of these clips that you saw in the intro, and maybe it will give you some ideas. Like this clip with all the cubes. Uh, each cube is actually made of six layers, arranged in a cube formation. And then I parented all six layers to a null object, which I renamed grid layer. And then I applied the preset to just that null object, uh, not the six layers that make up the cube. And then I just selected all seven layers and copied and pasted them a bunch of times to get all the cubes that you see here. For this one, uh, these spheres are just solid layers with a CC sphere effect on them. And uh, then I right clicked the layer, chose transform, and then chose auto orient. And I set the layer to always orient or face the camera. I also put some expressions on the properties that control the lighting in the CC sphere effect to make the lighting change realistically uh, as, as you orbit the camera around. So um, you can find those expressions online if you Google it. Or maybe I'll, I'll just include them in the description. How about that? And then you guys can, can make grids with spheres if you want. Um, also, if you want to uh, rotate the entire grid as a single unit, what you can do is select all your grid layers and then parent them to the grid control layer. And then when you rotate uh, the grid control layer or scale it or move it, it will affect the entire grid. So that's it. I hope you find it useful. There's a bunch more free After Effects tools and tutorials at creationeffects.com. And check out the effects while you're there if you want to get your, your fancy tickled. Oh boy, that doesn't sound very good, does it? 
I'll say it the old-fashioned way. Uh, go there if you want to see stuff that will tickle your fancy. Nope, that's not any better. Well, forget about your fancy. Just go and see some cool effects. The big new one is Landscaper, and it lets you create awesome 3D landscapes in After Effects. It has everything you need to make any kind of landscape, whether that's deserts or beaches or forests or winter landscapes or fantasy landscapes, whatever you need. And it comes with 30 finished landscapes, tons of nature effects, and other cool features like to add a lake or a river, you can just draw the shape with your pen tool and it's done. Or you can set the time of day to see your landscape in any kind of lighting and uh, easily make time lapses and a whole lot more. It's an insane template, I've been told. And I think that's a good thing. Also, uh, Creation Trippy Effects is a huge package of trippy effects for After Effects. Uh, choose from a bunch of psychedelic looks for your footage or choose from a bunch of trippy animations. Everything can be customized with easy controls. And some of the most popular effects are the Critter Collection series. Phlox lets you add custom flocks of birds to your videos. Swarms lets you add custom swarms of insects. And there are schools for adding schools of fish. They all make it really easy so anyone can do it and you can choose your species and customize their movements and everything. And there's Creation Artifacts, which turns your footage into animated artwork with over 40 different mediums to choose from. There's a template called Micro, which lets you imitate life under a microscope to create uh, custom microscopic animations that look totally real. There's Infinite Horizon for making perspective bending scenes from your landscape footage. Or uh, Pixel Pusher for creating particle animations. There's Ocean for creating 3D bodies of water. Uh, falling Leaves for animating leaves falling or blowing in the wind. Uh, 3D Flag to create a great custom flag animation that's 3D but doesn't require any plugins. And just a lot more fun effects there, but uh, I feel like I went on long enough. So I'll end there. Uh, thanks for watching. Enjoy Gridscape, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to get notified of new free effects.